Hello again, Wired fam. Hope everybody's doing well today. We are on beautiful Teleco Lake today, guys. As you guys know, this is my home lake. It's been a little little while since I've been on Teleco, though. We've been fishing some other lakes in preparation for some of the East Tennessee Crappie Club tournaments and just really kind of moving around a lot for the channel. So back on home waters today. I'm looking forward to it. Should be a good day. Uh, water temperatures right now are 44 degrees. It is cold. Uh, East Tennessee, we got some snow last night. Got a couple inches of snow. Uh, but it has uh, has melted off a little bit, so um, it's going to be a good day. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks again for joining, and don't forget, guys, if this is your first time watching, smash that subscribe button for me if you don't care. Smash that like button and hit that notification bell. That'll let you guys know when I have a new video out for you guys to enjoy. So uh, we'll be right back and see if we can't go catch a few fish. Welcome back guys. Hope everybody's doing well as we said earlier. Let's talk about our setup today. So we're going to be using a six and a half foot ACC crappie stick. That is a medium fast action rod, six and a half foot long. We're going to be using the Fluger Tryon size 25 reel. We're going to be using the pink canine braid. That is a eight pound braid if I remember correctly. It is pink in color. Hey, real men wear pink, real men fish with pink. Watch out in the comments. Keep it clean, guys. Me and my pink, me and my pink line. And we're gonna be using, we're gonna start out with my favorite, one of my favorites, the black and chartreuse bonehead stump bug on a 16th ounce chartreuse head. Okay? That's gonna be our setup today. Let's see if we can't catch a few. So what we're going to be doing today, guys, is we're actually going to be fishing submerged timber. So when the TVA, Tennessee Valley Authority, dammed our lakes up and flooded these reservoirs, there was a lot of standing timber, especially in Teleco. There's still a lot of standing timber from where they flooded the lake. So we're going to fish that. It's a little deeper, uh, 44 degree water temps. We're going to look for fish deep to shallow. That's how I like to do it in the winter. So we're going to start out deep on some of this structure, see if we can't catch a few fish. Howdy. Good fish, guys. Nice crappie. Nice cold water crappie. So we are in 20, 27 feet of water, and these fish are every bit of 24 foot down. So these are deep, deep fish right here. There's a bunch of them though. Let me get another one. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stay about 20 feet off these fish. Sound travels better in cold water. So I don't want to get too close to these fish. I'm going to try to stay off of them and cast to them. Another good fish. Another nice fish, guys. So by taking that six and a half foot rod, making those short pitches, I'm able to stay off those fish. I don't have a 10 or 12 foot rod. I can stay off of them and not spook them.
fish. Nice fish. Now, I am using a leader, guys. So I'm using an eight pound, vicious, 100% fluorocarbon leader. And I'll show you what that looks like. Nice fish. So right there, I don't know if you guys can see that, where that's tied to the braid. So I got about a four foot leader, and that is clear fluorocarbon. <clears throat> Keep those fish from seeing anything. That clear fluorocarbon is invisible in the water. You don't have to worry about whether they can or cannot see it. And also it allows me to break a jig off without pulling a brush pile up because braid is tough. The chances of you breaking braid are slim to none. I like to be able to break a jig off if I get hung. So that's another reason I use a leader. Also, braid is so sensitive. Those fish are picking that jig up. They're not hitting it very hard. They're just picking it up. And when they pick that jig up, I can feel that bite really, really well with braided line. Come up over a limb. Back down to it. There he is. This is a good fish. It's a better fish right here. Oh yeah. Good fish. <laughs> I love it guys I love it 40 degree water temps catch an eater fish I love it let's see where'd they go right there there they are come here babies on the other side of the boat now come here babies come to daddy He moved on it. There he is. Another good one. <clears throat> Another nice crappie, guys. White crappie. Teleco Lake is predominantly white crappie. There are some black crappie in this lake, but for the most part, it's clear lake, deeper lake. Most of the fish in this lake are whites. Now we're gonna get a little closer. Get a little closer to the brush pile, do more of a vertical jig, more of a vertical presentation, and see if we can't get bit. Go right down straight in the brush.
thought he popped it too. Come here, baby. <laughs> Woo! Guys, it don't matter if it's winter, spring, summer, or fall. You can get out here and catch these fish. Fun, fun, fun. That fish was deep, son. That fish came out of, oh, that fish came out of 32 foot of water, guys. 32 foot, oh, that was crooked. Sorry about that. 32 foot of water, way down there. Oh. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn you around. That's gonna do it for today. I appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to the videos if you will. A lot more fish to be caught. A lot more videos put out for you guys. Start deep in the winter, guys. Start deep. Work your way shallow. Locate those fish on structure. A lot of times they will lock down. Um, you have to slow down in the winter. Slow your presentation down. Uh, but you can catch fish in the winter, guys. Just like you can in the spring, summer, and fall. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, as always, God bless, guys. We'll see you next week. And don't forget, our live on Wednesday nights at 9 o'clock. We'll see you later.